Hello friends, welcome to the second tutorial of input impedance of transmission line. In this tutorial, we'll talk about a numerical question based upon a long uh, lossy coaxial cable. So in other words, uh, in the last tutorial, we talked about lossless line and we performed uh, calculations to find the input impedance in this one will take up the case of a lossy line so the question looks something like this it says the input impedance of a 10 centimeter so the first thing is the length and the load impedance is given the system is operated at 1 gigahertz and it has the following parameters so this this question has the load impedance given to be ZL which is 45 plus J 5 ohm but in this question uh, of course the length is given at 10 centimeters we need to find ZN at a distance of 10 centimeter from the load but in this question the characteristic impedance of the uh, transmission line is not given so the first part will be to calculate that and if you look closely it does not have a gamma given which is the propagation constant it does not have beta so all of these things will have to be uh, calculated because if you look at our previous discussion where we talked about the input impedance of a lossy line we saw that it depends upon gamma and z naught so these two missing parameters are needed to be calculated first so what needs to be done here is we've been given that this transmission line has a distributive uh, resistance of 123 uh, micro ohm per meter the distributed inductance is also given the distributed conductance is also given and the distributed capacitance is also given every transmission line has some amount of R L uh, C and G present in it and together they constitute the internal or the uh, characteristic impedance of the transmission line whose formula is of course given by so if we have distributed parameters then the formula for Z naught and gamma are given like this so this is gamma the propagation constant and this is Z naught so Z naught is R plus J omega L G plus J omega C uh, we've done a separate video on uh, the parameters of the transmission line I'll put a link in the description if you uh, want more clarity on how to find the characteristic impedance and gamma and of course gamma is also equivalent to alpha plus J beta if you're able to calculate gamma from this easy formula by just substituting the values here then you can uh, equate the imaginary part of this gamma to beta so you can easily find beta but what all things do we need here let's see to find Z naught first of all and you can simply find Z naught by substituting these values and substituting the values and taking the under root is a hideous uh, task so you can do that easily on a 991 ES calculator and you you need to be proficient in converting a rectangular coordinate system into polar or polar into rectangular complex number uh, manipulations on a calculator and that will give you Z naught to be equivalent to 31.622 angle 4.555 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 ohms all right and the value of gamma will come out to be equivalent to 2.1326 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 
plus j 24.44 now once you have the value of z naught and gamma you know that this part is alpha so see I've written z naught to be equivalent to 31.622 angle 4.555 into 10 to the power minus 3 in the form of r angle theta for my own convenience and I've written uh, gamma in the form of uh, a plus b i in, in the rectangular coordinate system so I've done that for my own convenience just to equate the real part to be equivalent to alpha and the imaginary part to be equivalent to beta so from this I can I can find that my beta is um, this much and I can convert it into uh, degrees by multiplying this thing so beta in degrees will be to 24.44 into 180 upon pi so the next thing is uh, if you look at the formula for hyperbolic tan gamma L so let me write down the formula for hyperbolic tan gamma L this hyperbolic tan gamma L it needs to be substituted in our final formula right so our final formula for Z in is uh, something of this sort this so you can see that hyperbolic tan gamma D is required here and hyperbolic tan gamma D or L uh, L is basically the distance it can be calculated using this formula tan alpha L plus J tan beta L upon 1 plus J tan hyperbolic tan alpha L and uh, tan beta L so we can see that we'll need alpha L so that is why we'll calculate alpha L here and we'll calculate beta L here and hyperbolic tan alpha L is also required and tan of beta L is also required so alright I'll quickly write down the values of beta L 2, 1, 3, 3. so substituting these value you'll get hyperbolic tan K L or it's another name is hyperbolic tan gamma L it's because you know gamma and K are the same thing and distance and L are the same thing our distance is 10 centimeter here and substituting the value of hyperbolic tan KL in the final formula for lossy transmission line will get our input impedance to be equivalent to 28.32 plus J 10.83 ohms at a distance of 10 centimeters from the load and I hope uh, this numerical problem uh, solution was of help in understanding the concept for a lossy transmission line and I'll see you in the next videos to come if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching the video have a great day ahead and a good life ahead bye